Good morning and welcome to our five minute warm up. Let's get going my friends, ready, go. Timer starts now. Today we are looking at Thomas Clodhauser, also known as Captain Tom. You can follow him on Instagram called Captain Tom. He's an urban sketcher. We've been looking at urban sketching, going outside, drawing things. He does buildings and we're gonna look at his motorbike. So get started, get out a pen. All you have is a pen, piece of paper, you can fold it or keep it big, however you want it. We're gonna loosen up, all right? So everybody start with getting your pen pencil and going like this and say gesture drawing. Gesture drawing, good job. All right, so we're gonna do gesture, which is using some wiggly lines, which he's noted for, just leaving it really sketchy and light. All right, so we're looking at his motorbike, which I love. So we're gonna start with the light. Right there, the light, all right? Then the light has a little rim around it, all right? From the light, we're gonna come do this curve thing and he's got like a little uh, backpack or something hooked on. So the curve, okay, then we're gonna do this whole curve. We're gonna start with our non-wiggle lines to just get the structure of the motorbike. Then we're gonna get real wiggly. All right, from the light, he's gonna have a handlebar, comes up, all right, he's got a little mirror on this handlebar. Okay, watch that again, kind of like an angel wing going up from the light. And he's got one line down Diagonal, look at the, you hold your pencil or pen that way, and see the diagonal, it's gonna come down. All right, thicken that line up by going back and forth. This line right through this rim there is gonna have what? Your, your wheel here, okay? So here's your wheel or your tire. You could go all the way around and do the whole wheel. What he has is this motorbike going over dirt, so you could just do rocks here. And he's got some lines going. This is where you get gesture drawing. He gets really wiggly. Right here, he's got these lines going back and forth. And he's got some dirt flicking up in the air, which we do with the splatter when we do our light watercolor wash over it. So let's keep going. Right here, he's got these coils. Coil, 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 one rim. Now he's got another uh, spike. He's got a little middle of the tire here, a little just half of it, and then some spikes going around, or spokes, sorry spokes of the bike going around. Here's your rock, so you just gesture draw and wiggle it and not even show the bottom of the wheel like he has here, okay? Now for the other side of the handle, all right, he's got right here, let's look at this. He's got a little rolled backpack. He's got a rolled blanket or something hooked onto his little uh, rim there. And then he's got his other line coming up this way, this diagonal, so go from the middle up, come up, and it hides in there, and then his other handle just comes out, and I just see a little light right here. All right, now obviously he looked at the motorcycle, the dirt bike, the motorbike, we're looking at his picture of it. In here he's got some shading to show there's a little dimension, and then he's got a lot of things attached to this bike. So now you're going diagonal down, look at your line down, and there's two minutes left, line down. Gonna come down, do some things, do right here, you got like a little circle for engine parts coming down and he's got this little roll. See that roll there? He's got a little roll, do a little roll. And then it comes across and he's got some ropes tying that on. It looks like a backpack. Now's the back of the motorbike here with a little light. See his little light there? There's little parts of the bike. And you could just get gesture. And his back tire though, we're gonna go all the way down with these bumps to this back tire is lower, okay? So now look at the diagonal from the top to the back. From the top to the back should be a little diagonal and his your back tire should disappear with some dirt and hills. So now we're gonna raise our little dirt hill motorbike area and have a little bit like the foot part of the motorbike here and just get really gestury and shaded, okay? So in here, it's really dark. We're gonna go back and forth. I see a little cross hatching and some lines going down. And this, remember this, this wheel disappears into this grassy scene, but look what's in the background. This is the fun part now. He kind of goes at a diagonal for his horizon line. So you diagonal it, diagonal it, and look what's in the background, what we've been working on. A little teeny island, and on this little island, if this is water here, he's got, and he's got his hills go right up here with some poles. Oh, and I love how he has a flower. I'm definitely gonna copy his flower. He does one of those lilies with one, two, three petals in the foreground. And then he has some little dots here and some more flowers. You get to now add your personal expression. I'm gonna copy his lighthouse. With 19 seconds left, I've taught you guys how to start with a rectangle and a triangle for a castle, but for a lighthouse, you do another rectangle and then like a little castle point on top. And then he's got his stripes. 
and another little house. Now, yours might look better than mine. You know, I like adding some birds flying in the distance. And boom, there's your five minute warm up. Can't wait to see yours. We're gonna do a light watercolor wash on it or color it in colored pencils, or you could just say it was a practice. Way to go.